Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Clone Wars, you guys. I am so excited to kick off this new season, apparently, which I was not aware I was watching the season finale last time, but we are in for a new season today. If you're joining me early today, you know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. I really, really enjoyed the finale, apparently, of season one of Clone Wars. I really thought it was like 24, 25 episodes. Um, and then I found out after the fact, I'm like, oh my god, that was the season finale. Um, so I, I had a blast with it, guys. I really liked it. I love the, like... Anakin Padme centric ones um, because again I just find their relationship so much more like cute and charming in the show um, I think it it's definitely it's always nice when you can actually see like the ins and outs of like how they got along and everything like in the movies you're only really seeing bullet points in their story you know what I mean um, now that they're not done well or anything like that um but that's the shit you're seeing the bullet points. You're seeing like, this is kind of how they fell in love and get, got married. This is how it all went wrong. And you know, um, how he was like driven mad and everything. It's a huge spoilers for, for <laughs> if you have not seen any of the Star Wars movies and you are strictly a Clone Wars fan, then you probably do not care for my reactions because I'm always like, oh yeah, we know he's going to be Darth Vader. Um, Sorry, <laughs> um, but I, I, I feel like um, I feel like that's not the case with many people. If it is, then I'm sorry, go man. I'm sorry. Um, anywho, I do like actually getting to see them, um, you know, interact, you know, and and be husband and wife secretly. It's I don't know. There's just something very cute and charming about it. Um, even in the parts where like you kind of know, you know. Here it's very sweet and endearing that he's like, you're my life. You're more important to me than like, you know, what's supposed to be my whole Jedi life, which is my lightsaber. And it's so sweet. And like, yeah, I'm one on the one hand, it's like, yes, like that's what a marriage. It's it's it seems like a good marriage, right? And um, as with many things in the show regarding Anakin, there is kind of this bittersweet factor to it, like knowing that his just undying love for her um, is not even the love that drives him insane. It's kind of the obsessiveness, you know, over losing her that that is really, really bad. It becomes really, really bad. But like even here you can see like, oh, that's so sweet, but... Ooh, that, that's, ah, uh, yeah, that, that undying love kind of turns a little bit, um, darker and a little bit more sinister, um, later on. So, um, and, and I've noticed that before with other stuff with Anakin, like, um, you know, we've, we've seen him, I've mentioned this before, he'll kind of like go off and do his own thing or he'll kind of like, maybe not exactly disobey orders, but kind of like do things his way a little bit, even if he, like, obeys orders, but then, like, finds a way around it. And on the show, it's like, it always ends up okay. So you're like, that was smart. But then you can kind of see that seed of, like, oh, so this is kind of how he got the idea that, like, you know, doing his own thing was the thing to do. And we know that leads to some trouble later on. You know, like, like wanting to um, maybe, like, put his put his needs above um, others in terms of, like, basically wanting to save Padme and everything. But um, we also had the introduction of some new characters. So I was, like, I was really on board. I think his name is Cad Bane. They'll probably say it in the next one. But I was, like, really on board with this. Like, I'm like, wow, what a cool look. Um, and I quickly, like, I, I, I love to hate him now because, like, I definitely was not on board with, like, what he was doing. But on the other hand, what a good villain, you know? Like, you've got to be able to respect, like, a good heel in action. <laughs> if you're hating on them in an active way, they're doing their job. So, um, so I really, I, I enjoyed him. And, um, basically, I, you know, we left off with, like, 
uh, and Anakin's there now with the hostages and everything. And I was kind of hoping in my mind, I'm like, God, I hope they don't just end this here. And then like, oh yeah, they were all fine. Cause you know, everything was good and like zero got away and everything. So, um, I'm really, really glad that they, it looks like the next one, like from the thumbnail, it looks like it is a continuation of that story, which I figured like they very rarely do like one shots. Um, it seems like on this show. So, um, I guess I'm in season two now. Hard to believe guys. I really enjoyed season one. Like I would have said more about the season as a whole last time had I realized, but I really enjoyed season one. Um, I feel like we're getting some like fun adventures where we can flesh people out. And we're also getting like a lot of just very philosophical, you know, a lot of philosophy, a lot of drama. Um, it's very fun, but at the same time, it is never afraid to be thought provoking. Um, so I can't wait to see what season two has in store. Um, what do you say we get started um, with season two? Let's go. All right. Got the grooving. A lesson learned is a lesson earned. I love it. Poetry right there. Oh, that's an interesting, uh, interesting surroundings here. Ahsoka should be back from the jungle patrol by now. I'll try to contact her again. Ahsoka, where are you? Oh. Patrol is not going well. Oh. Ooh. Throwing Anakin under the bus here. Being like, he said I should do this. You are putting your troops' lives in danger, young one. You will get on the gunship when we arrive. Where's Ahsoka? Following your teachings. Oh. For now. <laughs> He's like, that's my teachings, all right. Oh, man. You could see the influence here, you guys. The Anakin is having on her. I feel like she knows what she's doing, but it was not... It's not that long ago that she did kind of get in trouble doing her own thing, you know? Can't you see the retreating? They're about to overrun you, Ahsoka. You just can't see it. Now follow orders and get in the ship. Oh. You know, she'll listen to him. I feel like she sees that he can see beyond, like, orders. You know what I mean? But that's also not good, in a way. Guard duty? For how long? Longer now. Oh! He's like, see what you did? Shouldn't have um, spoken up that way. Sorry. Good to meet you. Okay. Show you I feel like uh, maybe this will be good for her. Else. I haven't been inside myself for years. Only members of the huh. Council are allowed access. I feel like this is going to be an adventure. One of the most important duties a Jedi can be given, Ahsoka. Do you think you're up to the task? Definitely. That 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 confidence confidence is good, but I have a uh, you know I feel like maybe this will be good for her. And here's the guy. Here is the guy. So we're not picking up right where we left off with the last story, but definitely. Disturbance. Yep. Big the time. There will be in this temple. Well, at least they know about it ahead of time. That's helpful. You would could probably be of some assistance. No, I'm just doing some maintenance. Having memory maintenance. crashes. That is preposterous. I have no memory uh -oh. of any crashes. Well, I have no memory of any crashes. Exactly. There you go. Oh, no. But I feel like that's not the issue either. Babe, you have to help me. Poor droid. Oh, thank you. Get the door. Don't get him all worked up. Right now we're stealing a holocron. What is this about? The only place you can get a holocron. I know. Inside the main vaults of the Jedi Temple. Fortunately, our Sith Lord client has secondly help from someone inside the Jedi Library. 
What? Yes, but your talents as a changeling would come in. Oh he no. Was like a Jedi. He was. His name was Bard Anacens. Oh. He should be able to into the archives and monitor us without a problem. They killed a Jedi? Oh my god. And that's where Ahsoka is. That's where our story is going to pick up. How are you going to crack that safe? Let me worry about the safe. First things first. What does Palpatine need with... What is this about? Where do we start? May I be of assistance? No. I, no thank you, my dear. I don't want to bother you. Oh, it wouldn't be a bother at all, Master. Uh... said I was fine. Now let me go about my business. Okay, this person is not good with covert operations. Ahsoka! Poor Ahsoka. And this this lady's like, that wasn't right. In the communication center, perhaps. Their target is. They must be in the central ventilation system. Let me check the system. You're right. There has been a disturbance. It's near the top of the south tower. They're putting this together very fast. I do not see anything. Besides, uh. we've already gotten past the fan. Um. Pluto, you're getting sucked into the fan. Oh, boy. I well. Do something. I've got it from here. Okay. Well, this problem might. No, I guess not. Maybe that might take care of itself. Guess I'm not that lucky. That seems like it would be both fun and terrifying at the same time. Just being able to go through that big tube tunnel with the little, the little air boots. The whole temple is on high alert. Thank you. No! Oh no! Is she dead or just knocked out? Oh, trying to do her job and keep her library safe. What did she get for Let's it? Go in. Which way do you think they went? The communication center is this way. We'd better hurry if we're going to catch them. Okay. Be careful, guys. The Jedi are coming closer. I got it. Go in. Oh. Uh... I'm s I are they gonna catch him or not? I don't know, it's pretty close. We are good to go. Good. Stop cutting through that wall. This job just keeps getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> I'm kind of like this one droid. He's kind of uh entertaining. Find Master Jocasta. You must. Which she's not gonna be able to now because they already changed. Ahsoka, so proud of you, girl. You? And what have you done with Madame Jocasta? Be careful. I'm going to do to you. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Dang. Of course they would have a lightsaber. Because they had that one guy's dead body. The librarian, I hope she's alive. Now, this is something you don't see every day. A librarian... With a lightsaber doing this. That is something you do not see every day. However, Ahsoka's on it. You may have Madame Jocasta's shape, but not her skills. Podor, oh, are you done yet? These things take time. Somewhat the droid you turned out to be. He's not a techno service droid. He's not a butler, George. He said that. He said that like twice to you in this episode. Babe, the communication center will be crawling with Jedi. Why do I need to go in there? Now! Uh, okay, okay. Poor Toto. It's always Toto that has to do the dirty work. Actually, I don't know that. I just am guessing from the situation here. Quick, the communication center. Let's go. There's so oh oh no oh no 
You're kidding, I was gonna say they're so close to getting them. Oh, uh, hey guys. Hey guys, is what he said. I was just, just um, play cool. The access hatch. Toto, your history, bomb. my friend. What bomb? Oh, going to blow up? Toto, oh no. Save Toto though! No, 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 no. Oh no! Not Toto! I really liked Toto! He didn't deserve that! He did not deserve that. Oh good, she's alive. Okay, good. Oh no. Just nothing to see here. Just peruse in the library. It was never Bala. Recall, that's who Bane's next target is, some Jedi. What's wrong? Who's Bala Rapal? Uh, he is the keeper of the Kyber Crystal, the uh, data on which can only be read by holocrons. What's on the crystal? A list of every known Force-sensitive child in the galaxy. Whoa! The future, the future of the Jedi Order. We have to walk. Oh my God! It's going to be hard to do. If this campaign is still here on Coruscant, I'll find it. Oh, you do that, Obi-Wan. Oh, no. So that's what... I bet Palpatine wants to, like, turn them all to the dark side or something. All right, you guys. That was such a good episode. What a way to kick off season two. Um, so we have not only like our typical fun adventure and, you know, kind of, they kind of came back to that um, idea that Ahsoka has kind of a hard time following orders. We had seen that a little bit last season and they're kind of like revisiting that a little bit. So again, like it had everything I liked about last season with fleshing out the characters, having an adventure. Um, but at the same time, it does, there is something about it that feels like the stakes have been raised to me. I think um, Cad Bane kind of feels a little bit more dangerous than who we're typically going up against. I don't know, there's just something about him that feels a little bit more like lethal. I don't, I can't exactly put my finger on it because we've definitely gone up against some like powerful villains or like nasty villains, but it seems like a lot of them have kind of been, whoops, I just stepped on a cord. I hope that was my camera. Um, it seems like a lot of them have been, um, trying to think of a word to put it. I feel like he's going to be a little bit more complex and dangerous than some of the just like, um, sort of one shot villains we get. And, and that's the best way I can think of it to put it. Not that like there's been anything wrong with the bad guys in the past, you know, we've, we've had some good ones, but, um, he does kind of have like a, a, an enhanced sense of danger is kind of the only way I can think of to put it. Um, so coming back to Ahsoka and having her kind of figuring out, you know, this, and we've seen this exact same thing happen before. She's like, no, I, you don't understand. I've got this. And she doesn't got it. <laughs> she don't got it. Um, but again, it's like in this one, they even called it out a little bit more that like, well, Master Anakin always told me, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, and it does usually work out okay for him. So like, you can see exactly why his Padawan would kind of like look and be like taking from that influence, you know? Um, the problem is like, she, she was not able to kind of see past her situation. And I think Anakin is. And so that might just be experience. Like he was saying, she's just still very young. Um, but you can kind of see the seeds of like, oh, he kind of, you know, he, he does his own thing a little bit. And you can see that rubbing off on Ahsoka a little bit, even though he doesn't want her to do that either. If, if she's not going to kind of like see the whole picture and it's going to put her and others in danger. But it's really hard to try and like work out the details of that with, um, you know, a child, a young teenager who really is only kind of learning from your example. So interesting, interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, um, Cad Bane, he seems like a bad dude. I'm, I'm glad they're like bringing him in. He's going to be like a major part this season. Did Toto die? Because I feel like Toto blew up. I feel like that's the last we're going to see of Toto. And I was enjoying Toto. The way he just shows up in front of all those Jedi and is like, hey guys, nothing to see here. Poor Toto. 
rip, rip Toto. Um, all right. And finally, they leave us with, you know, the, the whole point of all this was to get this very, very, very sensitive information about um, all of the Force-sensitive children in the galaxy. Like, first of all, how do they get that info? Second of all, I just, I have so many questions about that, that they have, like, a database of kids who are Force-sensitive. That, that leads me to a lot of questions that, like, can they sense them? And they just kind of like, ooh, I was on this planet and I sensed something, so I'm going to put it in my database. This is their address. <laughs> this is their... <laughs> I doubt it's like that. I doubt it is like that. Um, but it does kind of make me wonder, like, what is the process for, like, recruiting, you know? Because we've, we've, we've seen it done a little bit. Like, we saw it done with Anakin, but it wasn't, it wasn't done in the normal way with Anakin at all. Um, and we know that, like, Ahsoka got recruited but it sounds like she was kind of like didn't they say like she was orphaned or something or like so you like the person who who um who recruited her like kind of saved her and that's how they found her or or had they found her first and then they say I'm not sure but that leads me to a lot of questions a lot of questions I will be so curious to see um where we're gonna go with that because it does seem like they're trying to do some more long running plot threads this season like we have the bounty hunters kind of as more active characters as opposed to like we're gonna do um serialized you know like we'll have a character for like two or three episodes um the trailer kind of showed me that um this will this will be like a little bit more extended past that so um which I'm excited about. I really do feel like they have upped the ante on everything in this season. I'm very, very, very excited to see more. So you guys, I had a blast with that episode. I hope you had a blast watching along with me. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. Please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.